Today we are doing layout number 17 in our family album Cricut Cartridge series and the layout we are making today is called Magical Memories. I did change a few things. I left all that stuff the same but I added the fire hydrant. They had a ferris wheel and I also added a paw print. As you can tell this is going to be a layout for the puppies. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. Alrighty, at the computer you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen upper left hand corner where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click on where it says create new project. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box, we're going to type in the word family. This will bring up the family album cartridge. Click on view all images. I'm going to go to the right hand side below the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. And now we're going to scroll down and find the memory layout. It is right there. It's called Magical Memories. Click on that. Bottom right, click on Insert Images. Left hand side toolbar, click on Set Canvas. In the search box, type in the word Basic. This will bring up basic shapes. Click on those. On the right hand side toolbar, click on Canvas. Here you can change the size of your canvas and also the color. In my case, I'm using a light blue color cardstock. I'm going to bring this up a little bit so I can see the entire canvas piece. Bring my layout to the upper left hand corner. I'm going to use the arrow keys to make it be as big as I'm able to get it on this canvas piece. All right, go ahead and right click on the layout, choose ungroup. I'm going to remove the Ferris wheel. I'm not using that piece. Remove that one as well. I'm going to bring this piece down, bring the other piece down. Take my left mouse and go across both of those pieces. Go to the top toolbar, click Align, click on Center, then right click on that and choose Group. That way that will keep that piece together. All right, now these three pieces here, I do want to use them as a photo mat. Click on this one. I'm going to go to the right hand side toolbar, click on Edit. And this is 3.45. I want to make them be, leave the lock locked. I'll make each one of these be 3.5. 3.5 and this one here as well, 3.5. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to take my left mouse button again and go across all these pieces together, right click on those and choose group. So now when I move them, they'll stay together. I'm going to bring this piece over here, my title, keep this piece in the middle. Now I am using this layout for the dog, so I do want to add some dog elements. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert images. In the search box, I'm going to type in the word fire hydrant. And the one I want is the very first one. It is from Crater Critter. And the A there means it is in the access plan. Click on that one. Go back up top in that search box. And this time we're going to type in the word Paul. And the Paul I want is right there. And this one is from Life's a Party. I'm going to click on that. Bottom right, click on insert images. So I'm going to bring the fire hydrant down here. I'll put the paw print up there. I'm going to resize the paw print a little bit. And that looks pretty good. Now I have my paw print here. I'm going to go ahead and right click on that and choose copy. Right click again and choose paste. And on this one, I'm going to right click on it, choose hide contour. I'm going to click on the paw pieces themselves. So I'm left with just a solid circle. Click on the screen. All right, I'm going to take this piece, our solid image, go to my right-hand side toolbar under layers, click on that here and make that piece be a black color. This piece, I'm going to right-click on that and choose Move to Front. I'm going to bring this on that one. Just hold down that one piece and click Shift on your keyboard. Click on the other piece. Go to the top toolbar, click Align, Center. Right-click on the image and choose Group. So again, that'll stay together for us. I'm going to rotate that a little bit. On the right-hand side toolbar, click on Sync. You can see we have a lot of colors going on. I do want to change some of the colors. The title text here, the top layer, I see that here. I'm going to make that be black. I'm going to drag that to the black layer. And this piece I want to be red. I'm going to drag that paw print to the red layer. And now I want to add a spot down here for my journaling. Left hand side toolbar, click on insert shapes, click on a square. Have the square selected. Go to the right hand side toolbar under edit. I'm going to unlock the lock. And I made the width of this one be 6 inches, and the height is going to be 2.75, and that's going to come down here. Left-hand side toolbar again, click on Insert Shapes, again a square, 
Go to your layer tab. I'm gonna make that square be white. Go to the edit panel. I'm gonna unlock the lock. Make the width of this one be 5.75, and the height is going to be 2.5. I'm gonna bring this one down here and layer that on top of that one. I'm gonna go back to my sink panel and grab that grayish black piece to the other black layer. All right, so I think that looks pretty good. What I'm gonna do now is remove this white piece. So because we made this an even cut, five and three quarter by two and a half, I'll use my trimmer to cut that piece out. Click on this piece here and ungroup that. I need three squares that are three and a half by three and a half in white. I can cut those out on my trimmer as well. And the black piece here is six by two and three quarter, and I'll use my trimmer on that one as well. All right, top toolbar, click on go. So we have this piece here, that one, that's a little bit big. Go back and make that be a little bit smaller. Just use the arrow keys. Actually, I'm gonna undo that real quick. Take my left mouse button across both those pieces. Leave my fire hydrant out of the way. All right, right click on those and shoot. Or go back up top toolbar, click on align center. Right click and choose group. All right now, I'm gonna click on these and make them be a little bit smaller. Right, top toolbar again, click on go. All right, so we have that piece on a piece of on the 12 by 12 mat. The green there is on 12 by 12, the gray, and then we have the red. All right, bottom right, click on go. I'm gonna cut these out with the table and put our layout together. All right, guys, we have everything cut out. I'm first going to do the title. That's probably gonna be most time consuming. Okay. We're going to lay this out first. So it says Magical Memories. that way. All right, the glue I'm using is Art Glitter Glue. You can get this from mamemadeit.com. And the fine tip is sold separate, but well worth it. All right. You just need a few dots here and there just to kind of Hold the base of the letter down. So we're almost at the halfway point of what is today is um, 17 the layout that we're doing. So you guys need to start thinking about our next Sunday series. Even though I believe this series is, oh, the, I want to say the ending of this is the ending of March. So we finally, uh, finally finish this one up. So you have plenty of time, no rush. Stay down there. I did get an album too for all these pages. I mentioned I didn't have one. I did get one of those. Okay, two more letters. Not too bad.
Okay, that is all done. You can set that aside. Now we have this gray piece and this green piece. We're just going to go like that. Okay, let's see that one. So this goes up here. This comes here. And we have that journaling spot down here. I'm just going to go ahead and that down. So this is going to go down here. Just kind of want to make sure I'm straight. I think I am. All right, I'm going to glue this piece down. Okay, put this in here. And we have the fire hydrant. Isn't that cute? Love this fire hydrant, dude. Gonna glue them together. This is from Creator Critter, one of my all time favorite cricket cartridges. So we kept most of the layout the same. You know, we kept that and that. We just added in these little elements to kind of make it our own. Paw print. Okay, so I think these three things are going to go ahead and get popped up. Let's find those pop ups. And again, I'm just using the back of these pieces here, kind of the ending of them. I think I'm going to use them all. This way that's not uneven. That's a lot of dimensionals on there, Stace. All right, give all that a squish and take the backings off. So to the left though, a little bit off from the left. Okay, a little fire hydrant guys, and it comes down here. Down here, just like that, super cute. Love that fire hydrant. All right, let's do the paw. That's gonna kind of go up here, so it brings our red over here. All right, now we have the photos. What do I do with those? Oh, right here. And they oh, are photo mats. First, there are photos. Okay, so I have three white pieces. They all measure three and a half by three and a half. And I'm gonna kind of place them down here first. As you see here, if I put them in the middle like that, you can see that part. So I wanna bring these over, I think, to the ending of that green. Yeah. So I'm going to kind of line this up with the ending of that third piece over here. Do the same for this one. Okay, that's going to get lined up. Again, kind of going, lining it up right under the green. Let's make sure I'm somewhat straight here. I'm actually going to go higher. Yeah. Do I go higher? I am going to go higher. So I went like that. So it'll be almost like cascading, I think. I might bring this one this guy down. So I might bring this one down lower. Let's see if we can pick him up. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to bring him down lower. So it kind of gives us that little, like a cascading effect. Okay, oh, bring this guy down. Yeah, 
I like that. All right, then this guy, I'm going to come in here in the middle. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shove some glue behind here. Pull that down. And behind this one. All right, now the photos I have are of the puppies. Um, this is one I took yesterday, the two of them on the blanket. That's going to go there. Then I had them when they were babies. Look at Dinah. I mean, they're just adorable. And then we have Hardy. I want to say they're probably both about three months old here. But yeah, we are so blessed by these dogs. And they just bring joy, laughter. They each have their own personality. They get along so well. Hardy, look how little. She was so itty bitty. Dinah was super small. She was probably like, well, you guys seen her. She was, they said eight weeks, but we're thinking she was five. Hardy, we got at eight. There we go. Yeah, they do like a better kind of going up. Then I have this piece over here to add my journaling, which I will do later. Anyway, guys, there you have it. Layout number 17. What do you think? I like it. All right, guys, any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.